What is the difference between genetic testing, such as FISH, and DNA testing? So, you know, FISH is able to look at large segments of DNA, you know, things that are big enough that you can see it with your, under a microscope. Uh, but, you know, most of the, the uh, uh, DNA is you know, way too small to see under a microscope. It, it consists of um, nucleic acids. And um, the way we see nucleic acids is we, we sequence them. And so that there's been a, you know, a revolution in sequencing, and we can sequence much more now than, than we ever could before. And so that has a, a, allowed us to use genomic testing on the DNA uh, to look, and, and there's, there's many, many different kinds. But I would think probably the most widespread would be uh, what's called a sequencing panel, where a select number of genes, might be 100 or 200, um, have been selected because of their importance, and, and those ones have been sequenced to look to see if they contain point mutations uh, that would alter the function of the gene. Um, the other kind of genetic testing that might be done would be called whole exome or whole genome. And what that means is the whole exome, you take all of the portions of the DNA that code for proteins and you sequence that to see if you find a mutation. Uh, or the alternative is the whole genome where you take all the DNA including the 95%, which is, seems to be garbage, and sequence that. Uh, and both those techniques are useful and, and can tell you different things. What is sequencing? Your genes are, are consist of DNA, and DNA is a series of nucleic acids that, that we summarize as GATC. Uh, and sequencing is just a way of converting the, the, the molecule DNA into a series of letters that we can, GATC, that we can analyze on the computer. How does NGS identify mutations? The best thing to do when sequencing is to compare um, the sequence of the tumor DNA to normal DNA from the same person. Um, and then you look to see if there's any differences. Um, sometimes it's, it's not practical or uh, cost effective to sequence the normal DNA from the same person and then uh, you base your findings based on the frequency of any given change. If, it, if it's never been seen in a normal person before, then you could assume that it's probably uh, in the tumor.